Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets, great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Today let's look at a problem that could be a recurring one for many Revit users out there and it's to do with printing some surface or hatch patterns in Revit that you can see in the Revit window just fine like this one there but when you print out the hatch pattern lines they just disappear. So let's try to print this one just for a start if I now go to Control P and choose to preview the print. Everything looks fine. I can see exactly what I want to get in a PDF. So let's close it out. If it's goes on like this forever, there's nothing to worry about. But at some point, if you have to change the view scale, the issue will occur. So if I now change the view scale from 1 to 50 to 1 to 100, see what happens. If you didn't catch that, the lines in this pattern suddenly get a bit more grayish. Let me try that again. 1 to 50, black lines. 1 to 100, grayer lines. That's clear. If I now go to Control P again to print, it still looks okay. It suddenly gets smaller because the view scale has changed, but my lines in the pattern still there. Well, if I go up the scale again one more time, from 1 to 100 to 1 to 200, the color of those lines is a bit more gray now and if I go to print it looks certainly more gray in the printout compared to my last one if I go to print and proceed to create a PDF you can see it's actually grayer in the actual PDF as well so the boundary is still black but the lines of the pattern is now gray. So keep that in mind if colors of those lines is important for you as well. Anyway, it gets worse if I go to 1 to 500. It's, it's a lot more a whitish color now for those lines. And if I go to print, control P, I don't even see those lines anymore. They just disappeared. If I go ahead and print this, we can confirm the problem has occurred. There we go. Nobody would know if there's a pattern in there in Revit. So that brings us to the solution. Solution number one is this. Try to change the view scale to make it more appropriate for printing this pattern. Anyway, I know for many cases, this scale here should be defined by this pattern. It comes from other decision making points in your process. So what if I want to stick to this 1 to 500 view scale, but I still want to print this pattern? This is where the second solution comes in. Let's now make this more narrow and now I can make a copy of it to the side. The second solution is to use not a modal pattern but a surface pattern that is of the drafting type. So let's see how we can do that. If I now select the first pattern there and go to edit type, I can see clearly that the type of this pattern is model and squares 100 mil is the name. That means if you make a dimension between any two consecutive lines in this button there, the distance will be 100 mil. And the distance won't change. Whenever you change this view scale there, the distance will stay the same between those lines. So let's say if I want to make this button into a drafting pattern, let's duplicate this to make that. I'm gonna call this one drafting at the end and if I go to pattern editor I can now switch this from using a modal type to using a drafting type to match the appearance I'm gonna choose now a rectangular pattern style there and click OK you can see clearly already this one is now different from that one in terms of dimensions if I now take them back to the original scale at the beginning of the view, 1 to 50 that is, they look exactly the same. But as I go up this view scale, you can see the drafting button is adapting and spacing out its lines to match the view scale. And when I go to 1 to 500, the difference is clear. If I now go and make another print, Control P, the preview shows our result. 
the dropping button is printing fine, whereas the other button still has everything in it vanishing. If I now go and print it, we can confirm the fix is working. And it is. Even better, the lines in the pattern over there on the left there, they remain their original color. So they didn't get brighter or grayer, they are still as black as you define them in the project. So there you have it, two fixes for you to choose from. If you see a pattern displays fine in Revit but it don't print, you need to go to here and maybe change the view scale to a more appropriate value. Or if that's not possible, try and change the pattern to be a drafting pattern and not a model pattern anymore. There you have it guys. Have a try for yourself, see which way works best for you, and I'll see you in the next video.